Thank you for that introduction and good morning to everyone. I'm going to be spending the next 15 minutes or so explaining who the 131120 team are, what we do and how we assist our callers. So this slide um, has had has headshots of some of the 131120 team members and I'd like to acknowledge all my colleagues. Most of us work permanent part-time and as you can see, we have a variety of backgrounds specialising in oncology, counselling, research, to name a few. 131120 service is available Monday to Friday, 9 to 5. Callers comprise of the general public, patients, survivors, carers, partners, family, friends and health professionals. The Cancer Council 131120 Information and Support Service is the central point of contact for all cancer related services from anywhere in New South Wales for the cost of a local call. The 131120 service provides free, confidential, professional psychosocial support and referral to local services and considered the the gateway to all of the Cancer Council programs. Our CRM database contains over 3,000 approved cancer-related services within New South Wales. There are more than 20 Cancer Council support and information programs across New South Wales. Programs um, are, are tailored to meet the needs of our communities. The Cancer Program Missions is to be the leading provider of high quality, evidence-based information support and referral for cancer patients, survivors, young adults with cancer, carers, partners, family and friends. The information we provide is in print, audio-visual format, face-to-face, -face, by telephone or online. We also provide information support to health professionals, including GPs, social workers, oncologists, nurses and allied health professionals. The types of calls we receive um, are listed on the slide. And the main categories of types of calls can be broken down into the first category, the worried well. Where do I go to get a skin check? I found a lump in my scrotum. What should I do? My partner smokes. We're planning to start a family and he wants to quit. Who can help him? Then the next type of category of caller would be more the newly diagnosed caller. I'm in shock. in shock. I'm 40 years old, have young children and have been diagnosed with breast cancer. What do I do? Who can I talk to? Then you have callers who ring about treatment, management calls, side effects of treatment. I have prostate cancer and my urologist has given me the choice of having surgery or radiotherapy. They've explained it, but who can I talk to? Where can I get further information? Then you've got the caller who's been given some bad news. They've got a recurrence or a progression of disease. They told me the cancer has spread to my liver. I was first diagnosed with bowel cancer five years ago. Then you've got more of a, what we'd call a survivorship type of call. I've got the five-year-old clear results and my medical oncologist doesn't need to see me anymore. I should feel grateful, but somehow everything's changed and I don't know how to move forward. Then you've got a more palliative care type call. My father-in-law has lung cancer and his doctor has suggested we talk to palliative care. What does this mean and, and what do they do? End of life call. My wife has ovarian cancer, is getting sicker. She wants to die at home. They've increased the morphine. And then we have carers who call us. My husband is so ungrateful. No matter what I do, it's not right. I love him, but I'm worn down. Do others experience this? As I've just demonstrated in the different types of calls and, and, and the opening lines and the stories are varied. 131120 is not a call centre. Each, each call is tailored to the individual needs. We routinely ask each caller about their level of distress using the brief distress thermometer. During a call, we will ask the caller to rate their level of distress. An example of how we would weave this question into the call is, 
it sounds like this has been a very challenging time for you. If I asked you to rate your level of distress on a scale of one to 10, with one being low and 10 being extreme, how would, how would you rate your distress on average over the last couple of days? It's really important that we address each caller's needs appropriately. This not only includes their physiological and practical needs, but also their emotional needs. We can then subsequently suggest and offer appropriate support services. As a team with varying backgrounds, we form our own multidisciplinary team to address our callers' questions and concerns. Our service often goes beyond the call. If required, we will research on behalf of the caller to find appropriate evidence-based information. Callers will often share alternative or complementary therapies that they may be using. We are always very respectful. However, we are unable to give information about alternative therapies and we would always encourage callers to discuss with their treating teams. The 131120 consultant will listen to the presenting concerns by the caller. We will sometimes ask further questions to get a picture of what went on before and unpack the presenting issue. This can involve breaking down complex medical information into layman's terms for the caller, assisting in formulating a list of questions for their treating team, exploring the caller's support networks and life situation to identify possible challenges ahead for them. After, presenting the, um, after unpacking the presenting concerns and building a rapport with the caller, we can suggest referral to appropriate support services, both external and internal. External um, services may include the cancer care coordinator in the hospital setting, the breast care nurse, the social worker, <laughs> referral to a local support group, uh, a look good, feel better program, a wig supplier, other cancer charities, for example, the Lung Foundation, Leukaemia Foundation, Breast Cancer Network Australia, Prostate Cancer Foundation, Myeloma Foundation, Canteen for the 12 to 24 year olds, Cancer Voices and many others. Internal referrals may include the practical support services, such as the financial assistance program, pro bono legal service, accommodation and transport, in-home services, and our survivorship programs like Enrich Enriching Survivorship and Healthy Living After Cancer program. Psychosocial in, um, support includes our callback service, Cancer Council Connect one-on-one -on -one peer support for newly diagnosed callers, telephone support groups for, um, for example, the Carers Telephone Support Group, Pancreatic TSG, Advanced Cancer TSG, Brain Cancer TSG, a Closed Bereavement Telephone Support Group, Myeloma Telephone Support Group, and Metastatic, metastatic Melanoma Support Group. We also have our cancer counselling programs. We have online community and our cancer support group leader training program. Our information resources include our Understanding Cancer series of booklets and online information. We are able to assist callers from non-English speaking backgrounds by accessing the telephone interpreter service and having a three-way conversation. Callers with hearing impairment can be assisted by us through TTY or telephone typewriter service. Of the 12,000 call uh, contacts received by 131120 in the last financial year, 10,175 were directly related to cancer. The breakdown of call types is demonstrated on this slide. Now to demonstrate a, a call type, we've used an iPhone and with the permission of the caller and the consultant Brenda, um, we've, we've cut a snapshot of a, of a call just to, so that you can see us in action. This is filmed on level six um, where 131120 are located at the Cancer Council which is in Woolloomooloo. Uh, this is just a snapshot, so the conversation had taken place for probably five to ten minutes prior to this starting. 
Uh, the background is the caller's 60 years old, an inpatient in hospital, so he's calling from hospital, and he's been told he has lung cancer with liver mets. He's awaiting, the, he's awaiting results. So I'll see if I can start this conversation. But uh, I'm really worried now because the longer, you know, I'm not sure what's happening, but I would have thought, you know, it's better to get deal with the cancer. But they're saying that I have to wait. Yeah, that's right. You know, it's too risky um, to do chemotherapy while you've got an infection. Um, so I think, you know, in most cases, we know what we're looking at with cancer is, you know, a few days or a week is not going to make a lot of difference. And the important thing is to get the, um, you know, to get the pathology results back and get the detail of the type of cancer that they're dealing with so that they can start the right try to kind of treatment. Have they spoken to you about any of the types of chemotherapy or whatever they're going to do? Um, I think they, they're just waiting for the tests to come back. I think it's uh, a lung primary, but I've also been told of them. I think they call it lesions on, on my liver. Mm -hmm. uh, so it sounds pretty severe to me anyway. Um, yeah. And um, they said I have to start some, some chemo. I'm not sure what it's called. And they said something that, that maybe later I could do something for you know something. I'm not sure what oh, it is. Oh, immunotherapy, yeah. What yeah. is that? Um, uh, immunotherapy is, is basically a, a, a medication to actually encourage your immune system to actually deal with the cancer itself. So it's um, a way, uh, it's a drug that they, once they identified about the exact type of cancer they're dealing with, then they can work, um, then they, what they do is they can take away um, the mask that the cancer's created to prevent the um, your body recognizing that that's not what it should be. So that's what the drug normally does, is it, it, it interferes with the mask so that the body recognizes the cancer and deals with the cancer appropriately. So it's a, it's a very new treatment. It's a good thing to, to have this. Absolutely. It's, it's probably one of the most exciting um, um, discoveries within the last four or five years. And... Um, you know, before with lung cancer, the prognosis was incredibly poor. Um, but now, you know, it just looks so much more optimistic with this new treatment. Look, I'm just, I'm really in the dark with all this, you know. Just every day seems to kind of open new, new doors and bigger mm -hmm. worries. So I, I don't even know what kind of questions to ask my oncologist anymore. Okay, have you been given any information about um, lung cancer? You know, your doctor obviously has told you a little bit of information, but have you got any yeah. booklets or have you done any internet searches? No, or? no. Uh, I, I, my wife tells me I shouldn't touch Dr. Google, so... No, I think I that's, I think that's a honest. very wise wife you've got there that says don't touch Dr. Google. I think there's so much there that's unsubstantiated. What, I, what I'd suggest is that we've got a lovely booklet um, called Understanding Lung Cancer, which um, I'll pop in the mail to you. I'll get the details from you a little later on. Um, and in the back of the book, they've got a, um, a question list, um, sort of page 51 of the book. And it gives you, a, it's got a question list there, questions that you, you know, might look, not look at and decide what you want to ask your doctor and what you need to know. So I guess that, that video sort of demonstrates how we do what we do, um, but also the point I'd like to make is that, that we can interact with our callers um, um, and offer support um, and initiate a timely support at the time dictated by the caller. Um, I'd like to just also reassure that the 131120 information support value very much their relationships and collaborations with the patient's multidisciplinary teams and patient care teams. We support those involved and value add with effective emotional and practical support referrals in order to diminish, diminish the effects of cancer that, that has on individuals' lives. Um, for more information on any service, um, please contact us on 13 11 20. You can also visit our website and find out more information about the prevention, research, support and advocacy work done by the Cancer Council of New South Wales. Thank you for listening.